Hey folks, happy Wednesday to you. It is a Wednesday, June 8th, and our Bible passage on this day is John chapter 14, verse 16. John 14, 16. Open over there, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. John is the fourth book of the New Testament, the last of the Gospels. And actually, last of the Gospels written um, as well. Um, in fact, if you look in... Uh, the lots of the uh, stories, language, uh, recounting in chapter 14, 15, 16, 17 of the Gospel of John. It's only in the Gospel of John. It, uh, stories like this are not in the other Gospels. And just remember that each Gospel is written to a different community of people. If you are writing a story to a group of people who live um, in North America and they're 10 years old, you're going to write a certain way. It's going to be different than if you write a story to someone who lives in the Philippines and they're 70 years old. Uh, you're going to use different, not, not just a different language, but different kinds of images, ideas, stories that help them understand. Um, and that's what's happening in the four Gospels, which I think is wonderful because it gives us a broader ability to understand Jesus and to see Jesus more clearly where we have more examples and more stories to figure out exactly who he was. Anyways, enough of that. John chapter 14, uh, verse 16. And I will ask the Father, this is Jesus speaking, by the way, and I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you and he will be in you. And so this goes to... Uh, this is Jesus' conversation with the disciples uh, towards the end. He says, I'm going to be with God and I'm going to send you. I'm going to ask God to send you this advocate, which who we come to understand and to know is the Holy Spirit. And Jesus says, you already know this person because it's in you and it will abide in you. That in baptism, you received the very presence of God. Remember, Jesus is baptized, the heavens open, God's presence descends upon him. Then Jesus goes about baptizing people and giving that presence to others. So, so the very presence of God, this Holy Spirit lives within you. And, and that what's going to happen is that the Spirit's going to come on you in sort of a fresh way so that you know again and understand differently how it is that the Holy Spirit is in relationship to you, but you can never, never lose it. And so we have become somewhat comfortable with that. It's a nebulous understanding of where God is and how God is with us. But imagine those people. I mean, Jesus was right there like, Sleeping in the bed in the next room, eating across the table, walking next to me on the road. Uh, the very presence of God in a physical nature. And now Jesus is saying, I'm leaving in this physical form, but I'm coming back in a spiritual form and I'm always with you. That was a difficult sort of pill to swallow for those folks and for them to understand. Um, and thankfully, we have come to understand that the the... Uh, perhaps most profound part of uh, the Holy Spirit is that it is it is with us. It is always with us. We can never lose it. God bless. Have a great day.